Councillor Kuriba, I don't think you've actually made your substantial contribution. Yes. I'm just, I've got one more amendment under user charges and statutory fees. Okay, sure. So under um, amend paragraph two of user charges and fees, that's on page 23, and I would like to amend it to read, after the line where it says statutory fees and fines relate mainly to those levied in accordance with legislative requirements, these include building fees, planning fees, health related fees, parking fines and animal registrations. After that sentence I would like to add, where possible, council aims to increase development fees such as planning, development, subdivision, engineering, building and plumbing fees instead of non-development related fees such as pet registration, sports centre fees or hall hire charges. Second up. It's about to lapse for want of a second up. Nobody wants to hear why. It lapsed. Alas. Oh well. Substantial contribution. I think you've made one yet. Thanks very much, Mayor. Um, this is a opportunity to be um, ambitious, to be inspirational, to set our priorities for the next ten years. Um, a couple of points that I'd raise are uh, that we probably do require some community consultation around why we make the decisions we do. For example, I think we could have better um, discussed the rates, the general rate increase, because in the um, budget rates and information brochure, it says freezing rates, the effective general rate rise, this is for 2019-20, is 0%. Ratepayers will see a rise of 2.8% in the general rate, but will receive a COVID-19 rebate to offset that increase. And now we're talking about not a um, we're talking about a removal of the remission. So what I'm trying to get at is we need to be much more clear about when we freeze people's rates and then plan to take back that freeze. That would be a delay, a pause, a moratorium. It would not be a remission. The word remission means, according to the Macquarie Dictionary, <laughs> the relinquishment of a payment. The Oxford Dictionary says it's the release from an obligation of a debt or payment and Google Dictionary says it is the cancellation of a debt, charge or penalty. So my concern comms wise is that we've told everyone in the community with this term rates remission, we've told everyone you don't have to pay 2019-20s rates and now we're telling everybody according to the long term financial plan, by the way it was just a moratorium, it was a delay, a freeze, a postponement, a pause, it was not a remission. So I think we need to work on our language. Um, yeah, I, I, I found it difficult trying to explain to people that, um, you know, we're going to have to pay back, we're going to have to pay back what we paused. Uh, we did not market it that way, we marketed it as a rates freeze, but then we directly called it a remission. So, look, easily, easily confusable. Um, I think something else that I wanted to raise is that on Council's OUSA website it says that Council will engage on projects or issues of community interest when an outcome has the potential to have a considerable impact on the community or a stakeholder group, when there's a strategic opportunity to involve the community in decisions relating to the nature, scope, design or delivery of a project or initiative, and when an outcome involves a change in services or infrastructure provided by council. And I think the long-term financial plan is pretty much hits every one of those points in terms of how it affects the community and so that's why I strongly take the opinion that we really do need to talk to the community about this, ask for community buy-in. And whilst I take the Mayor's point that maybe you won't get many written submissions, I think there's a million and a half ways to engage with people that aren't asking for written submission. For example, um, every time, like we did this with Huntingfield, having you know uh, little community town hall meetings where people can come along and look at what it means to them, get a bit of a masterclass or a workshop in what the long-term financial plan is for and then be able to, in an informal way, give their feedback and input. They don't need to write a 10,000 page essay, they just need to come along to a town hall meeting and, and have their say. So I think we can do better with consultation. The reason why we're looking at the long-term financial plan now is because of post-COVID there's been some enorm enormous significant changes to Council's uh, finances. And the, the community of Kimber has changed as well and we need to be asking the community about, about what those changes mean for them and how they want our priorities reflected as a council. Um, so those are some of my points and um, 
I think it's important that we've added in the biodiversity amendment. Um, but I, yeah, um, I'm glad that that's happened. I would have liked to see the other amendments get up, but say la vie. Uh, back to you. Thanks, Mayor. Okay, uh, so the motion, have you got the full motion? Uh, so just to clarify what we have and haven't done, uh, the motion has been amended from what was in the original, and that is the council adopt the long-term financial plan, but then we also added um, through agreement of the mover and seconder uh, and review the hard financial hardship policy before the 21-22 budget deliberations with the following amendments. And those amendments were the council will review the long-term financial plan every year. And were the other amendments? The trees, yes. Um, and... No, I think it's the next one. And uh, a new section under developer contributions called biodiversity offset revenues. There may be an opportunity to increase revenue for the Kingbury Environmental Fund by reviewing biodiversity, the biodiversity offset policy against alternative tree valuation frameworks, such as the City of Melbourne tree valuation method. All those in favour, please say aye. Those against? We'll have a division. All those in favour, please raise your hand. Councillor Grace, Street, Bastone, Reet, Westwood, Fox, Midgley, Wass and Winter. Those against, Councillor Cordover. The motion is carried.